Hi guys, Sigita here and one big journal. I can't even fit in. I have to show you that way, guys. Okay, a large journal. It is for you. Uh, but please don't rush over to my Etsy shop because uh, this time I will put this journal on eBay. So you can uh, and you will have 24 hours to decide do you want it or not. And you can watch video uh, more than one time. Uh, this time uh, is something uh, quite different. <clears throat> journal, uh, I think guys who followed me for a while know that my favorite uh, journal album maker at the moment is a Russian girl uh, named uh, Olga Tisheva. She lives in Spain and I purchased her tutorial and this is what come came out from this tutorial. Really, really, I love it. Um, she is a Russian girl. Uh, uh, she said she doesn't speak English, but she can write in English. And uh, because she lives in Spain, obviously she knows Spanish as well. And at the moment, she is starting to give some um, uh, classes in Spain in Spanish. She is not in a YouTube. She has no YouTube channel, but she has Instagram. And I will put down in the description box uh, her uh, uh, Instagram account as well. And guys who are on my Instagram uh, will see that on Instagram as well because I will put it down. This time this is a bit different. Cover, as you can see, is coffee stained fabric. And I used some beads as well on the side. And I used uh, dark red like wine thread. That's crocheting thread, guys. It comes in little balls like that. So, and spine. And back. Uh, closure is just um, cotton uh, ribbon. And spine, there is no spine. <laughs> there is no keyboard. Uh, there is no salt in on the outside as pine. There is no chipboard. There is no cardstock in between. This cover is like, uh, guys, if you purchased my um, fabric envelope, then you know it's exactly the same thing. Coffee with PVA glue. So it's quite a, a nice touch. <laughs> I, I, I wish you could all guys touch it. Can you, can you hear it? It's nice, like rough touch to it. It's not very stiff. It's not stiff stiff. And then I made some collage up there. Uh, crocheted rolls. As this crocheted roll will go through a uh, journal as well. Right, okay. Size. Okay, guys. I will have to turn that away to show you. Oh, sorry, guys. I put my ruler under a tripod. Right, it is 11 by seven and a half, eight, seven and a half, whatever depends how you move it. It is moving because there is no spine, so but it is quite fat. Um, that uh, wild, not wild, um, that long is just a cover inside pages, obviously, are a little bit shorter. Is like can you see, you can see it's a little bit shorter page inside I can actually measure for you pages roughly inside are nine and a half by six five for a half six depends some are a little bit shorter some are six okay guys stitching you can see here so outside is different fabric and inside is, is dark um, coffee stained cotton fabric and now this is what it comes more interesting I just have to pick it up you can see closely so this is meant to be for um, photography this is why that paper clip is here and what is, is very interesting or why this journal is so interesting because this page 
is a fabric. It's cotton fabric page as well, uh, coffee stained together with PVA glue and then sold together. That's why it comes so interesting. So I put paper clip, but you can move it. And then I thought as well, of course you can pay, place little picture or cut out your picture you like to put on. But you don't have to really stick picture on it. You can put some notes under it as well. Or you can write, write some really nice note over there, like in red. So it depends. It, don't, it doesn't mean you have to put picture on it. Okay, then let's go to next one. As well, red thread I'm using. Some pink berries. My main color, I uh, tried to... Uh, I'm just trying to... My Oh my god, my, uh, my furry friend is meowing outside. I can't let him in. Just a second, guys, I will let him in. Otherwise, he will be meowing all the time. Like that. Next is a uh, pink. Ah, uh, color. Did I say about color? <laughs> I forgot already. Ah, uh, color scheme is more pinkish and teal. And 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 and. It's not really themed. It is a uh, just vintage grungy album journal. He as well as this sewing guys who is uh, following me on Instagram. You have up, up, up little video where I'm sewing around. This is what I was sewing. Okay, this is as well. Look how stiff it is. It is coffee uh, stained with a uh, glue. And here comes the pages. Okay, this time is a little bit differently stained. It's still tea dyed. Paper is tea dyed guys, okay. But this time I use different things for this. This teal and pink is just a second. I'm not prepared, guys. Um, Lindy's. I'm using these Lindy's Magicals, Lindy's Magicals and Shaker. So I'm using these for that. And pink is the same. Little, little powder you just uh, you spray with the water okay then we are having 14 pages on each page I put some stamp down as well and look how nicely that page edges look so I haven't that done that before a center before and then on some I just put some as here little bit pink on teal. But some are made more, some less, some none. We just made, oh, this is gorgeous. I didn't stamp any script stamp on because I thought that would be too much. As I won't leave you a space to write. This is gorgeous, guys. Look at these stains. Okay. So here on one a uh, part of a journaling part is 14 pages which makes 28 sides okay 28 sides so in a whole journal journal you will have three of these that would come to 42 pages or 84 sides okay so quite enough to write because they are quite blank then we are having again uh, another part uh, of that uh, Pink lace and little, and uh, he is teal as well. You can see, guys, looks so lovely. And little um, collage. Then this one, guys, this is fabric as well. So I used as well this teal, and this is coffee stained um, fabric, is a cotton fabric, and I sprayed and a pink crochet flower as well, some, some stitching, some buttons and stitching up there. And here I just went over with um, a vintage photo ink. And here I love this page. It's quite uh, rich with everything. With flower, with stitching, 
birds, girl, ballerina, roses, bird up there, some stitching. And again, you can put our picture there or put some very important note. And this is what, uh, guys, I wanted to show you. This is a steel. I sprayed this one actually. Uh, I wanted to spray on camera. It does show a bit more blue, but it is more green. I even don't know how can I show you that. Maybe it is more green, guys. It's like here. See, can you see the difference? A little bit more green. It is like that. It's more green. So I just spritzed it down. I wanted to see how it looks. And then I really loved it. And then I said, oh, I can put that in a journal. So this was just the start of that coloring. So uh, envelope. And this I put just plain envelopes. Too many colors already. And then here is another part of... Uh, Second part of journaling pa part. Second part of journaling part is nice staining, stamping, and a little bit of color, color as well. Okay. A little bit of pink and blue. Stamping. I love this blue. It looks gorgeous. Right next, I have a pocket is again coffee stained fabric okay you can see how how uh, stiff it is it is long pocket that way with some collaging on it okay and some red stitching some birds and here as well is that blue um, coloring a little bit of pink so it's quite colorful this time and on this side is this guy well, what? type of moving uh, this type of a uh, lace pocket and this po lace pocket uh, lace is um, coffee stained and uh, used this PVA glue together mixture as well and like little uh, how do you call it embellishments a uh, collaging next here again I use a little bit of pink and the teal and this is a large envelope. Oh, here just spritzing on, very large one. Here I left the RCEs and you can see lace. Okay, how nice it moves. It's a little bit stiff. Third part of journaling. So I'll just go quickly through. Oh, this is so nice. A little bit of blue, a little bit of pink. Just to give a little bit more color, but not too much. Center and stamping as well. Oh, this is so. Can you see, guys? This is so. I don't want to put too close, otherwise it blurs it. Okay. Not really nice uh, edges, and this is as well really lovely colors. Another part of that lace. Another part of that large envelope, and here is a very lovely ballerina on this side, and crocheted flower and um, folded, not folded, twisted flower. I have video, guys. Someone who, were, or someone, who, someone who is interested. Some time back, you just have to go back somewhere, somewhere. In quite a beginning, uh, I have uh, very twisted roses, so I do the same twisting, just more looser, so that rose is not as compact as I'm showing in a video. I just loosen more it up, and then it comes up like that, so you can have a look. This page I put up on Facebook, and what I did, I used a gesso on this page. But I didn't use just so on the rest of journals, um, journals, journals, on the rest of pages, um, just because I thought it would be too much. But I left this with just so on. It's junk journal, so. <laughs> so again, coffee stained with PVA page. Um, this is as well a um, pocket. This one, this way, large large coffee stained uh, cotton fabric and I just put some paper clip and some sewing there and this is a uh, what's on a page okay 
some collaging. And all that loveliness is finishing by a large fabric envelope. Unembellished, nothing, so you can really put things in it. And this is a back cover. Okay, guys, and that's it. So this is my loveliness. Something like quite, I really enjoyed making it. Uh, I uh, tried to make it as quite quick because I am a little bit guys behind your um, long blank journals who ordered. So uh, probably there will be like one or two day delay uh, after uh, ta shipping time because each, each order has a shipping time. When you buy it, you can see it when you're buying it. Uh, but I think uh, it is two, one to three weeks, but I think I will be a few days behind because I had uh, some uh, things going on here. But anyway, obviously there is no excuse for that, right? You have everything has to be on time, guys. And I really wanted to make this and to show you this journal as well. And guys who know I was so mad and angry about my bathroom, about my house renovation, then now I can say I'm so, so happy because I, I found a quite a nice man, uh, one of my uh, very good uh, people I know. Uh, she uh, recommended one and he's just absolutely a uh, lovely, lovely uh, person and he knows what he's doing. He's doing absolutely gorgeous job. So everything goes right now. Right, guys, thank you a lot. If you have any questions, please ask. So as I said, this is going to be on eBay. So please don't rush over my Etsy. It will be up for 24 hours. Okay? All right, my lovelies. I do hope you all enjoy your week. And uh, probably we'll see you after some time. Because I will be digging in in your orders all right my lovelies have a good time thank you bye oh guys as oh no i can't do i just wanted to say i will put shipping to a uh, price but of course course for bidding i can't do that so shipping will be di separate from the price okay guys because that's on ebay <laughs> i just remembered all right my lovelies thanks a lot bye